A former aide of Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Michael Achimugu, has exposed Atiku's huge corruption practices. Achimugu also warned Nigerians never to vote for Atiku as president in the forthcoming general elections. In a video, Achimugu said that although threats will be made against his life, he is ready to open up more facts to back up his claims against Atiku. He disclosed that in 2018, Atiku cornered 100 million naira into his bank account. The money was paid into his account by former jailed governor of Plato State, Joshua Darie. On the 13th of June 2018, there were serious corruption allegations flying all over social media about a 100 million naira bribe that had been given to Atiku Abakar by the then Plato State governor, Joshua Darie. Um, by the direct personal admission of uh, the governor, he had given a uh, hundred million naira to Atiku. For this reason, the governor was found guilty and was sentenced to jail time. Um, I needed to know how to what the truth about the allegation was before proceeding um, to plan a defense strategy, and so I reached out to my then principal, Atiku Abaka, via email, asking him you know, the details of the issue and how to proceed. And so he had told me that in his reply that, you know, um, they had, that money had been paid into an SPV. I didn't know what an SPV was, so I asked him. And so he, he, he gave a brief description, but since it was obvious I wasn't quite, um, I didn't have clarity, he put a call through to me on that same day. On my blog, you'd find the phone number that he had used to call me on that day and the number I was also using, by which I had received that call that day. And in his call, in our conversation, he admitted to having advised his then boss, President Ulu Shegunov Basonjo, against what he called open corruption, um, stating that he practiced corruption by stealth or corruption by SPV, um, if you will. Went on to explain in um, further strategy meetings that through those SPVs, he, Atiku Abaka, had set up. Don't forget that he was in charge of the economy. And every money, every monetary transactions had to pass through him. You know, and he, they, they had used those SPVs, you know, to fleece, uh, uh, the, you know, Nigerians. Using those monies for private businesses, you know, to settle their friends and, and political issues as well. Um, that particular conversation... Um, gave me a little insight into the truth now after achimugu released the first episode of a video exposing Atiku's corrupt practices dino melaye a former governor of kogi state belonging to the pdp also as Atiku, came out in a video to make mockery of achimugu the former aide of Atiku. melaye called achimugu a yahoo boy who was looking for recognition which kind uh, media aid? Media aid for where? Media aid. Where an appointment letter? Let him tell us one, one, one publication that he made on behalf of Atiku Abubakar. I bet I know they talk to all these small, small four one nine Yahoo boys where they look for something, and you know he's looking for attention. Collected small, small money from body loan. One country to stop us. My friend, get out of this place, Jerry. Let me talk on serious matter. Rubbish. As Atiku's media aide, Achimugu also revealed the method by which his former boss, Atiku, uses in carrying out his corrupt practices without being traced. In a shared audio call between Achimugu and Atiku, he explained that he did not commit corruption directly but by proxy, steals or SPV, which means special purpose vehicle. About my boss, my then boss, and all of the you know corruption allegations against him it also opened my mind to the uh, knowledge that the reason he's always been confident in defending himself you know in allegations of spv by telling nigerians show me evidence if you have any against me is because spvs those companies he had set up by himself had placeholder directors so nothing could ever be traced back to him directly that's why Atiku is always confident about corruption allegations. But it also forced me to begin to investigate deeper, you know, the man that I, I was serving at the time. Listen to 
the conversation between me and him. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mike. Yes, sir. <laughs> How can you ask me what is this TV? Uh, well, um, I don't know what SCV is, sir. And I, I, in this we show before I start arguing um, with these people. Uh, SCV is a special purpose vehicle. In other words, is a, is a company they incorporate to carry out certain, you know, activities. Okay, sir. You see, you see what happened was when we came into, you know, the office and I advised the president against, you know, you know, uh, like, you know, open corruption. Yes, sir. I told, I told him, I, I said, give me three people you trust. Yes, sir. And I will prepare three companies for which they will be the subscribers or rather the directors. Okay, sir. So that, you know, like, if there is any contract that we give, you know, they will act like consultants, you yeah, know, yeah. and then they are giving a fee. Yeah, and that fee is what we now use, you know, to fund the party instead yeah. of, you know, engaging open. So he gave me the names of Fashale, uh, Andy Uba, and the late, uh, uh, this guy, you know, from Borno State. Achimugu also revealed in a publication online how one of Atiku's friends took possession of a media company set up with billions of naira. Achimugu also revealed in a publication online how one of Atiku's friends, Olushola Akomode, took possession of a media company set up with billions of naira. He further disclosed that in 2017, Atiku spent billions of naira buying equipment and setting up a media company using one Olushola Akomode. According to him, when he wanted his company returned to him, Akomode refused. And Atiku could not go to court to claim the organization because the documents were in the proxy's name, that is, in Akomode's name. Meanwhile, there is still more to this story as we are yet to hear from Atiku's side. And Achimugu is also ready to drop more proofs to back up his claim on Atiku's corrupt practices in Nigeria. <laughs> Please subscribe to this channel, News Pop NG, for more updates. Do not forget to like and share this video. And please drop your comments down in the comment section. I am Blessing Ezeja. Thank you for watching.